Hi guys, welcome to this quick video tutorial. Um, I am Flight Sim Lad on YouTube, and I've got a lot of questions coming towards me at the minute of people not being able to install the uh, the mods into the community folder, or people are installing them and it's not working in the simulator. So I'm going to show you the quick way and the correct way to insert your mods into the uh, simulator. A uh, quick shout out to this website. This is where we get all our mods from at the minute. It is flightsim.to. Uh, some great modifications on here, some great liveries, great scenery packets, and it's a fantastic website. That's where we get our Edinburgh in Scotland scenery from here, uh, which is fantastic. And a cool, neat little app is the Quick ILS tool. Um, EGNT is my local, brings up the ILS frequencies and the length of the runways, and the runways is got straight away. So let's go ahead and have a look. So I'll go into my downloads folder. So let's go into downloads. So I've downloaded the um, Bonanza pack. I've not installed it yet. Uh, the only thing I have done is wh when you download the folder, you want to extract it. So if I go to 7-zip, which, which is the folder I use, the, the software I use to download and extract. Um, extract files, and I put them into my backup mods folder here. So when it's extracted, it will go into this folder along with all my other mods, which is just a backup if in case I have to reinstall the simulator. So that's, we'll pretend that's all done. That's now downloaded. Um, and these are currently my mods in this folder. Um, I currently have, let's have a look, 22 gigabytes worth of modifications at the minute, which is not a lot really. So what we're going to do guys, when, you, when you're in here, what you need to do is, um, once it's downloaded, don't drag this folder across into the community folder. It it won't work. Uh, some will, majority of them won't work. Um, so for example, if I click on the Scottish Ammo Service King Air, it opens up another folder, and inside this folder is another folder, the Asobo King Air. So this is your neat file. So basically what you want to do is always go to the end folder to transfer this this file across. If you're transferring two files ago, the community folder is not going to recognize it's just going to open this. So, you, so the community folder will only open the last available folder. So it's going to open this, and there's no, nothing in here at all. This is all empty space, and it can't see past this folder. So what you have to do is literally drag this, drag that across rather than that one across, and you should be okay to go. So I've downloaded the Bonza, Bonanza improvement project um, that for the G36 because it's not very good at the moment. A lot of the stock aircraft isn't very good at the moment. Um, so what we need to do is if, you, if I press on that it opens up this separate folder and you can see here that there's only one folder in here and this is the folder that I need to transfer across. So my game is actually on a uh, NVMe drive which is game X drive. Uh, we'll go to new folder community and this is basically where you put all your all your mods. Somebody was saying on the, the group chat before that they couldn't get the liveries to work. Um, that's because they've obviously put the livery pack in. So if I show you quickly, uh, when you download the livery mega pack, uh, it comes like this. A lot of people drag this folder across. Again, that gives all this dead space. It doesn't recognize. What you need to do, guys, is open that folder, copy all of these and put them in separately for different aircraft there and then it will always work so we'll go for the Bonanza that's the only file in that system so all we need to do is literally drag it straight across into the X drive and that's it now in and that will now work against the uh, Bonanza apart from that guys um, everything's going well with the simulator at the minute uh, I am flying the uh, A320 NX modded version which is also a, a good a good little conversion. Everything should work as it, as it should now with some added extras as well. Uh, I'm also using the JD Mod King Air version 2.1 um, which is also more realistic with the, um, the torque settings in this aircraft. Um, we fly for Logan Air, virtual Logan Air, so we use the King Air at the minute which is the closest aircraft we've got to the turboprop aircraft and it's the most realistic one we've got so far. Um, it does actually give you a bit of a flare in the ILS approach mode as well. 
unlike the 320 at the moment, uh, which just dives you into the ground. Please check out my other videos, guys. Thanks for watching, and safe flying. Please subscribe. Thank you.